Same. Same Black Sad, because that was so intense. Where is he going? Why is he running away? Greg's shadow is back! <laughs> oh. Did you miss me? <laughs> is he high? Uh, who wants to see a home run? <laughs> I think he's really high from all the drugs he took. Oh no. Now you're gonna see. Bring it on! Okay. Let's go! <laughs> okay. Wow, that was a nice clean throw. <laughs> but yeah, he is high. Whoa, he's gonna crash. Oh no, his heart! Please don't tell me he dies. Come on, man. I don't. Just sit down. Relax. Look at his eyes. They're bloodshot red. Oh, no. No, no. That's what I said. Okay, what do I do? CPR. Let's go. Wake your ass up. Come on. Okay. Damn it, Sparrow. I mean, I appreciate you. Oh! <gasps> he died? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He saved my life. Oh, this is Lover of Ladies, and I'm just so devastated right now. Um, like, comment, share the video, subscribe to my channel for, you know, emotional reparations on my end, witnessing someone die Don't <laughs> at this yourself. point. You did everything you could. Did I, I though? The did doctors I? think so. They found him unconscious by the basement door. Ooh. What? Another deduction? Okay, so let me go through these clues again. Spano stopped a fan with his bad arm. Spano died shortly after recovering his strength. Mitchell was trapped in the basement. O'Leary's feet on the table, a sign of dominance. The cops found Gil close to the basement door. Um, Mary's been at Yale's place recently. Gil works for Mitchell even though he hates his guts. There was a bottle with Spano's name on it in the ventilation shaft. Yell's soles don't match the footprints at the gym. Alright, so check this out. I'm gonna go and do this one with this one. And this one. Damn. Um... Damn. This? No. Damn. How about this? This one with... This one? Oh. This one. Oh. Could Gil have blocked the basement door from the outside to kill Mitchell? You think? That's a serious accusation. Are you sure, or is this just a theory of yours? It's just a theory. Let's hope we get the truth out of him. Yeah, I would huh. rather, you know, talk to him You think directly. Gil was involved in the previous murders? What if it was Gil who killed his partner, Randall Lee, under Mitchell's orders? Another serious accusation. Are you sure? Yes. Everything points in that direction, including my gut. Wait. Couldn't Mitchell be Randall Lee's murderer? Another deduction. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um Let me see here. 
A sniper killed Randall Lee. Mitchell missed two shots point blank. Maybe these two. So he misses with two shots at point blank range, and then he hits a guy smack in the forehead from across the street? No. Mitchell is not the sniper who wiped out Randall Lee. Yeah, I guess you're right. But we still don't know what caused Craig Spano's death. The pills, my boy! It's the pills! Right here. This one. Uh, we got... This one. And then we got this one. Oh, wait! Bingo. There's no doubt about it. Spano took drugs from the lab, and they killed him. There you go. Were true, how many more athletes are in danger? A and whole of case of them. Who are they? Is Bobby Yale involved? I didn't see them all, but write down these names. Peter Lowe, Xavier Chains, Helen Moore, Yes. Bill Goldman, Miles Benton, Alexander Wood, Jacob Ziegler, and yes, Bobby Yale. Wow, Blackstar, you got a good Thanks. memory. Saving lives for a change, huh? I only In remember case, Helen Moore. This has got to stop. We're friends, damn it. You should have warned me about this. I should have let you know. I'm sorry. My hey, bad, John. bro. Surprise! Oh, that's you a crazy thing. Giving a tip to a friend, don't you think? Or is that only the case when, uh, when I help you? <laughs> oh, he's feeling some type of way. Come on, bro. I almost died. Get that guy out of here. Uh, 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 <laughs> Not talking shit, huh? Let's get this over with. When the war ended, Mitchell convinced Groon to use his super soldier drugs on elite athletes. Somehow, Dunn found out about Mitchell's scheme. So when Mitchell heard that Dunn was on to him, he ordered Randall Lee to kill him and frame Yale for the murder. Then, he made Randall search Dunn's house and the gym for any incriminating evidence he might have had against him. The poor cleaning lady died almost by chance. When you stuck your nose in the case, he tried to scare you by sending his thugs to give you a beating. Yep. And when that didn't work, he asked Randall Lee to finish you off on the gym rooftop. But Randall not only failed, he got captured. So Mitchell ordered Gil to put a bullet through his head, which only made Gil upset. You kept getting closer and closer to the point of discovering his headquarters. When Mitchell realized he was cornered, he burned his bridges by setting the lab on fire along with Dr. Groon and his daughter. Which was messed up. Gil saw He's the opportunity to get back at Mitchell. So he blocked the only exit so that he would also die in the fire. Did I leave any loose ends? Just a few. But don't worry about it. I'll take care of them now. So I guess thanks for everything. I'm loving the music. In your classic noir films and novels, solving a case never amounts to a happy ending. The detective is always left with a sense of bitterness. A feeling that before he took the case, the world was a better place. Yo, that's a nice varsity he jacket. Was a better person. I want one. Come on, now speed it out. Sometimes I just let my character get the best of me. What do you want from me? I told Stone what I knew. That he was going to let Yale win. That if he didn't, O'Leary would destroy Helen Moore's career. And that Moore was doomed either way. That's or would be up. as soon as America discovered her sweetheart was on drugs. I don't believe you. No way. Who sent you? Today? Nobody. And what if I did believe you? What would that change? If I don't do this for her, how could I ever look her in the eyes? How could we stay together? You think you'll stay together when you lose your title 
And they accuse her of doping? At least I know I tried. Oh, Lord, come on, man. The drug scandal is bound to rattle the entire sporting world soon enough. At some point, the police will have to take it seriously. If you let Yale win, and they find out about O'Leary, you might even lose your freedom. It's not the worst thing I can lose. What the hell? He's that reckless? Suit yourself. But trust me, your manager is a murderer. Get as far away from him as possible. Hey, Black Sad. I'll think about it. That's all you can do. You can't control people's actions, so... Did I forget to mention the music is so awesome in this game? I cannot get over it. Whoever Yale did confirmed the music. To me that Dunn found out that Mitchell was giving him meds. Oh no. That was the reason they argued the evening of his death. The music though. In fact, Fantastic. I was clean at the time. Hadn't used for days. I didn't want to go down that road. I wanted to follow Joe. Aww. But he discovered everything. He didn't believe me when I said I had nothing to do with it. But you used again. Only after his death. Bendito. I, I needed to cope. But the drugs gave you a panic attack. Yeah. That's how you end but up I've in the hospital. I've been clean ever since. Mitchell gave you the pills when he stopped by the hospital. Hence, your miraculous recovery. Are you planning on taking them before the fight? Because you shouldn't. Don't do it, Bobby. That can mess you up, Someone kid. Someone has to save the gym. I owe it to Joe. And Sonia. And my Aunt Mary. Listen. Thorpe has enough money to save the gym. But he won't be able to save you if you go through with this. Think about that. Sorry those about pills. You, Mary. Those but pills killed Sparrow. You think they're not gonna kill you, Bobby? Come on, man. Don't take them. It ain't worth it. You're better than that. You don't even need the pills. That's how much of a good fighter you are. Come on, bro. Private Eye nearly disputes police operation to dismantle Stone and drug Yale labs. Hadn't taken away the bitterness I felt. I needed a friend. He was outraged that I hadn't given him the tip, but he let it go as soon as I bought him a milkshake. Of course. After the perfect storm of corruption and murder, only friendship could reconcile me with the world. Only that could make me believe in mankind again. Only that could cleanse my soul. Only that and money. Hmm. In your standard noir novel, Yale and Stone would be punished for breaking the rules. There would be justice for Sonia, the victim. But this was the real world. As the detective who had cracked the case, I just had to get my paycheck and be on my way. Yes! Pay me nice what to you meet owe you, me! Mr. Blacksad. Mr. Thorpe is on his way. Care to take a seat while you wait? I guess I'll just have to wait. He'll be here in a minute. Please take a seat. Okay, I got time. A minute's a minute after all, I mean. This is a fancy place here. I'm shook. She looks pretty cute, the receptionist. 
Okay, let me see. Let me look at that sign. No matter Build how a new many curveballs Destiny throws his way, he always manages to land on his feet. When he was a rising sports talent, the war put an end to his career, so he became a war hero. After the war, he didn't end up like Gil or like me. He became an elite athlete, a Hall of Fame football star. When an accident left him in a wheelchair, he went on to succeed in advertising. Hey, he definitely made lemon lemonade out of lemons, that's for sure. Good for him, though. Good for him. Hmm. I don't know if I'm the impatient type, but I believe it's been a minute. So, where's he at? <laughs> the last time I climbed a skyscraper, I had very different intentions. I wasn't there to claim my reward. I was there to punish someone. Damn, okay, Black Sad, I see you. Where else can I look? Okay. Are those famous athletes as well? I gotta admit, I love their photo um, pictures. I gotta admit that the art style of this game is fantastic. I love it. Okay. Wait a minute. Another clue? Huh. Wait, hold on. Let me see. I think there's a new one. A list of names that somehow relate to rare chemical compounds. Thor hires athletes for advertising campaigns. Huh, I think there's a connection here. Oh, there is! That's not possible. But what if Tim Thorpe was somehow involved in Mitchell's operation? Mr. Blacksad? Mr. Thorpe is running later than expected, but he insists on meeting you, if you don't mind. Sure. As long as you help me fight off this boredom. That's not in my job description. Oh, he... Ah. Uh, anyways. Let me take a good look at you. Not at your, you know, uh, the obvious look, but more like the detective look. If I had her markings on my skin, would I be the same person? Would my name be different? That's interesting. Very interesting. All right, what else can I look at here? Because I got another, ooh, the book. 10.45 a.m., 12 a.m., 2 p.m., dinner with the mayor at 5.15. Right. Okay. So, what's good? Hold on. All of Thorpe's appointments are on his agenda. Okay. Okay, so what if I'll do these two? Because those are the new ones. Oh. If my hunch is right, there should be a meeting with Mitchell noted somewhere in Thorpe's agenda. So, let me see here. Well, you see, I've got a problem. In order to figure out how much Mr. Thorpe owes me, I need to know what day I started working on the case, but I can't remember. You wouldn't have that written down, would you? It sure wasn't on my shift. I remember. Let me see. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so slick. Okay. What's next? What's this one? What's this one? Luvia, wherever. Okay. Lunch with the governor. Huh. So what about that one? Is 
So Miles at 1045, Congressman Wallace at 415. She's gonna flip it? Okay, okay, yes. Thank goodness. Meeting with Dylan, 930. Lunch with Paul at 1215. Okay, and then what's the other page? Six AM return flight. Eleven thirty meeting with Millard Smith Hospital. Eleven meeting with Bobby L. Meeting with Reg at one fifteen. Meeting with Claude at four PM. I am literally looking everywhere. This is cool. Okay. I really hope Thorpe is not a bad guy here. 11.30, Joe Dunn. What? Dunn was here two days before he died? Why didn't Thorpe ever mention that? I'm sorry, but your name's not on here. That's crazy. Wait, I just remembered something. The day I came, Joe Dunn had just walked out the door. Well, no. You don't have any appointments. Although, I guess I could have forgotten to write you in. Mr. Dunn, who's usually very kind, left in a flurry. He even slammed Mr. Thorpe's door. Okay. Now I know I have to get into Thorpe's office. And he didn't even say goodbye. Yes, that was the day. You don't recall me because the minute I saw Dunn stomp out, I followed him. I never actually came in. Of course. That explains it. No doubt. Hmm, so, since it looks like Mr. Thorpe won't be here soon, I think I'll go take a walk down the hall. Gotta stay in shape. That's a corny excuse, Black Sad. Obviously, since she gave you that look, too. And she's trying to follow you out. She's like, men. Come on, Thorpe. Oh my god. Tell me there's a back door to your office. I really hope he's not in on this. I would be so devastated. Like, if he's really in on this, how the hell. Oh, Sonia, man. Sonia would be so devastated. Alright, so wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh, don't tell me. This is so convenient. Cats aren't afraid of heights. That's why I've never felt vertigo. All right. That is so sick. I just went in. Okay, so long conference meeting, right? Door. Another door. I am literally breaking and entering. This is crazy. Shit, hold on. There you go. Okay. Almost got it. Boom, baby. Wow, who knew? Who knew? All right, what clues will I find here? I'm Learned one of the strings, the accuracy of his throw. Yeah. I earned the nickname Iron On. I used to throw the ball in. I'm not reading all that, but you guys can pause the video and read Remember it if you want. Wanted. And my coach, the great Joffrey Sox. Mm -hmm. And so I worked hard. And I did Pearl Harbor. I enlisted immediately. After losing a partner in combat, a serious injury, I asked to be relocated. I became a sniper. I know I shouldn't say this, but I was one of the best in the army. And it was all thanks to my accuracy. No! no it was all thanks to Jeffrey Sachs. I wonder how many Americans that man saved with my arm. 
After no. these words, Tim Thorpe is moved almost to tears and asks me to take a break. It's shocking to see how an athlete and soldier, a man whose aim and skill won him a medal of honor and the nickname Surgeon among his brothers in arms. That can't be. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but no. No! You mean to tell me he was the one that killed- Why am I surprised? In every investigation, there comes a point where every single lead seems to go down the drain. And you have to retrace your steps to get back on the right track. Wow. Wow! I can't! I better not use it. It might be connected to the switchboard at the front desk. I have another deduction, okay. No, I can't get over it. Uh, so one. And uh, two. And three. What? Okay, this one. And this one. That's it. Thorpe is the man behind the whole drug operation. Oh, hell no! Why? Why? He was such a good guy! Okay. 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 I can't get over it. So... Okay, let me... Oh, Lord. They called Thorpe the surgeon for his excellent aim as a sniper. A sniper killed Randolph. So, these two. Um... Thorpe is the mastermind behind the athlete doping operation? Fuck. This one. That one and Mitchell's drugs help overcome physical limitation? No. This is horrible. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. That bastard was playing the good guy when all reality he's a dirty little rat. Wow. I can't get over it. Okay, so let me do these two. That. And... I don't know. I'm just shook at this at this point. Like, I can't really get over this. This is one hell of a plot twist indeed. I thought the case was closed, over and done with, but you know what? When something's too good to be true, it really is too good to be true. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.